Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Hold on a second. Dude, are you kidding me? It was number one. Jackpot. Welcome back, everybody. Glad you're here. This is uh, the second episode of my massive comic book collection unboxing. Uh, these are the books that I got from my brother who got them from a friend who had stored them for a friend of his for 10 years. And uh, they just kind of became abandoned. So instead of throwing them in the dump, I gave them to my brother. My brother gave them to me. I'm starting to go through and figure out what's on these things. I have no idea. If you watched the last episode, you saw we ran across a couple of really cool things. Uh, so I'm hoping for bigger and better here. I have three banker's boxes like this. Uh, most are bagged and backed, as you can see. Um, so we're going to be going through these. And the way I have this set up is I'm going to be like setting a pile right here in front of me. And just kind of going through them one at a time to see um, what's going on. So I'm hoping we find a lot of cool stuff. I have no idea what's going on uh, What's in here if it's anything like what showed up in the last one I had stuff in there that was from like old gold key comics So it's possibility that some of those are in here. Hopefully they're in better shape Hopefully not with a bunch of stickers a bunch of these look to be bagged if not backed So hopefully they'll be in better shape um, But yeah, all these little stickers like this one right here like hopefully we won't, won't run into any more of those so without any further ado let's take out these first bunches and see what we got here as you can see man they already got some warping in them so this is shatter from first comics that's number three number four number five Oh, these things are all stuck together. Since these weren't backed, and because they're kind of like in there, like odd, um, like these things are just kind of warped out, but not too badly, it looks like. Looks like I'm not seeing a lot of spine damage or anything. So hopefully those are kept pretty clear. Michael Moorcox, number one issue of Elric from First Comics. Number two, number three, number four. Nice run here. Whisper number one from Capital Comics. One, two. I'm not familiar with. So this is special number one from First Comics, so I must have changed hands here. 64 page double issue of two copies. Very nice. And from first, number one from first comics. Another double issue. Two, three. No number four, but there's number five. Oh, there's number four. I'm not familiar with this comic. So I can't really say a lot about it. First comic. So this looks like be like a bunch of first comics here. Maybe a whole box of them. I'm not sure. I'm not really too familiar with it, but we'll find out. So this is number one of first adventures. Two, three, four, five. Dynamo Joe. That was number one. First comic special number one. Okay, that's a special and this is actually number one of the regular series, I guess. Number two. So again, entire runs. Shatter. 
special number one. Oh, and number one. So that goes there with the others. And number two. So I get that good back there with Shatter. Awesome. So obviously a lot of first comets here. A lot of first runs. Again, it's got that bend in it, which really sucks. But, uh, I mean, you, gotta, you guys got to remember to stand these things up and keep them in a sturdy box. So this is number 28, Dread Star from first. Badger. Number 30, number 10, number 11. I'm not familiar. It seems like I, I know Badger. I'm just not really too familiar with that character. But I have seen that dude around before. Number 18. 19. So this is an entire run. Nice run. It looked like they were kept them pretty good, but they got a little bit of bending in the spine here because of the bend that you can see from the way they were laid, they were stacked in there. Same run. Looks like an uninterrupted run all the way up 10 through 29 so far. Yeah, 10 through 29 an entire run. Nice. So Capital Comics Nexus number one. Nexus, of course. Yeah, that character I'm familiar with. Number two. Number three. Another number three. Number nine. Number 13, so not a complete run here. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So they got a run here going. That's pretty good. 20 and 21. Oh, Jackson Gleese artist on this one. Nice. Thirty-three. Thirty-four. And thirty-five. So not too bad. Yeah, it's got some nice runs in here for these comics. So if you're a first fan, I'm sure you're pretty happy with what you're seeing right now. Looks like we're going to get into some marble here, so let me just pull out a stack. And... Alright, so here we go. Alter Ego number one. Two. Three. Yeah, these are in much better condition. None of them are back, though. Just bagged. Okay. Oh, issue number one of the twelve. Oh, the limited series Vision and Scarlet Witch. Nice. Well, that's pretty good condition too. Spend the money on the backs, people. Oh, is this the entire run? That'd be awesome. Two. Let me see here. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-
two copies of two, three, four, five, six, seven, the entire run awesome really cool and um that was a great great series if any of you happen to collect that one i remember having the first ones in my first collection i had uh i think i had the run of the first 12 or 13 something like that this is actually it's actually pretty cool because the way they did this comic was when they introduced the nom which is all about vietnam every I believe the way they set it up was like every issue was like one month in the Vietnam War. So it only lasted X amount of issues from the from the beginning of the war to the end of the war and then it ended. Um, and I never really kept up with it after like the first, I think it was like the first year or two. Um, but it was a great, it was a great, um, great series if you ever wanted to get into it, really well told. Power Pack, always a personal favorite of mine. Number 15, number 19. Oh, that was a crossover issue with uh, Cloak and Dagger, Kitty Pride, Wolverine, Beta Ray, Bill, and Thor. New Mutants, they always had great crossovers. That was the uh, Home Alone ripoff issue. <laughs> Tooth and Wolverine and X Factor. These things stuck together. These aren't in order. Oh, Power Man and Iron Fist. Fantastic. I, I collected the heck out of this one for a lot of until it's, I think I think I had from like uh, my first collection, I think I had from like issue 68 or 78 somewhere in there all the way up to when it ended in the 127 134 somewhere in there it ended not too long after this issue actually I actually had a letter printed in Power Man and Iron Fist in one, in one issue so it was, they chopped it all up made me sound like an idiot but Power Man Power Pack number six number seven it's nice so they got they do have some runs in here Skipping number nine here. Skipping number 11. Oh, I think 11 was back there. 14. Long shot number one. Awesome. Oh, number two. Number three. Number four. Actually, you got number five here. And number six here, so that's awesome. Great, great uh, mini series back then. Limited series. Sectars number two. <laughs> and Sectars number one. Wasn't that based on the toy? I think that was based on the toy. Dragon Ring. Air Cell Publishing, so this is an indie comic. Number two, number three, number one. That's cool. Number two, volume two. From also from Air Cell. Now I don't see a number on this one. Oh wait, here it is. Number three. Number five, so no number one. There's a number four. No number one on volume two there. Uh, Amazing Heroes, the X-Men History. 
1954. What is this? Hold on. Whoa, that's a weird looking Hulk. 59 model. I'm not familiar with this. Really good condition. Oh, no. Number 69, so it's got Batman. Hmm. Yep, I remember when uh, they did that. That guy, I can't remember his name. Star, what is it? Star Other Verse. Who did that? Uh, Clive, Car Clive Carpenter? Or who that was. This is interesting. Oh, Cerebus, number 55. Nice. Not a Wolverine drop-off at all. Frank Miller's Ronin, number one. Excellent. And book two. And book three. And book four. Five. Nice. Excellent. Dogoda from Fantagraphics Books. Not familiar with that one at all. Flesh and Bones featuring Dogoda from Upshot Graphics. Y'all have to comment and leave, let me know if you've ever heard of this Dalgota guy because I'm not familiar with him at all. Firestar number one. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Two copies. Oh, number two. <clears throat> Number three and number four. First comics, Grimjack premiere issue. One, two, and three. So it looks like another run. This guy was good to put together runs of these things. She's every, most of them too. That's awesome. Eight, nine, ten. That was 15. So skipped 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21. Two. These are in really good shape too. I don't see any binding. I don't see any issues with the bind or spine. And wish they were backed, but they're all bagged. They look to be really, really good shape. Special anniversary first. Special anniversary issue number twenty-four. Two copies. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in Munden the Bar. Oops, this crossover. 27. 28. 29. So 
that's the end of 29, issue 29, so that's a run from, almost almost a complete run from 1 to 29 with duplicate issues in there of Grimjack. Really nice. John Sable Freelance from First Comics, number one. Oh, Grimjack again. Grimjack, number 32. John Sable again. Three, four. Let's see here, John Sable Freelance, number five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Nice run. At least, man. So he's definitely a first fan. He loved these first comics. Whoever collected oh. these entire runs of these characters. And honestly, I am just not familiar with a whole lot of first comics at all. I've heard of Grimjack, but uh, and, but I've never even heard of John Sable. I'm sorry, 32, 33, 34. Well, you can really see the character change when you look at this, like going through three years of comic covers and just seeing how the character changes in look and style. I was looking, noticing that with Grimjack and now with this John Sable guy. So there's four years at least. 49 and 50. So an entire run from 1 to 50 and beyond. 51, 52, 53. And that's a Sable Return of the Hunter number two. So. John, so the John Sable Freelance looks like a complete run from 1 to 53. So that's pretty cool. So a lot of cool stuff in uh, the first bat in the first box baker's box that we got. Um, a lot of first comics, 12 issue complete set of uh, Vision and Scarlet Witch, six issues of Longshot, four issues of Firestar. A lot of runs in here from first with Shatter and Nexus. John Sable, Grim Jack, just a, a lot of really cool stuff in here. So I'm pretty impressed by this first box. I can't wait to get to the other two. So let's go ahead. All right. Box number two. Let's see what we got here. Oh, oh, that's what I like to see. A lot of boxes. I mean, a lot of backs. 
some of these don't have backs, but a lot of them do, but half of them do, so let me start pulling these out. So, Firestorm, the Nuclear Man number 51 from DC. These are, this one's not backed. Number 42, annual number three for Firestorm. That's an older one too, DC 50, so 1985, nice. It's not back, but it still looks like in really great condition. Kia Sima's Dark Angel. Black Hood from Red Circle Comics Group. Number two. Death Hawk. Some strategic place machinery. There's that dragon ring again. Number one. Legend Lore, Tales from the Realm from Arrow Comics. This is number two. Oh, here's number one. Arrow Comics Night Streets, number one. Magnus Robot Fighter from Valiant. Chromium cover. And embossed. That's number uh, 25. There. Ogre, three of four, from BD, I guess. Ogre, one of four. Silver Server, number 66. Featuring the cosmic power of love and hate. <laughs> Cinnamon. From Catfish Comics. Victoria Cross by William Tucci. From Crusade Comics. This is one of two. Armature. Number one from Alioptics. Ol Actually kind of cool looking. So from uh, Wildstorm Image, this is the 10th. Number four. Number three, kind of a little bit of a bend in them, I guess, from like uh, the box not being as great as it should be, since it's a banker's box. Witchblade and Dark Cut, Dark Child number one. Spider Baby Comics number one. <laughs> Eclipse International Apples. Oh, Appleseed. Wow. Volume one, number one. Eclipse, number six of six, Dominion. Welcome to the Dollhouse. By, that's by Dollhouse Comics. Conqueror from Harrier Comics. Number two. Got some really, really weird. Oh, here's number one. Got some weird stuff in here. Innovation Dark Shadows, number two. 666 six, six, The Mark of the Beast, number two. From Fleetway Quality. Lost Tales of Earth. Carbon based books. I don't see a number on it. Sheena, Queen of the Jungle from DDP. March 2007, 99-cent special. Alan Moore, Leah Moore, John Ripion, Albion from Wildstorm. Kabuki Agents, number five from Image. Kabuki, number four. Gene Wolf's The Shadow of the Torturer, number one, yeah, number one, number two, from Innovation, number three, Topps Comics, Hercules, guest starring Xena, this is number three, okay, Arion, okay, 
Henry Allen Road of Atlantis number one from DC. Carry on number seven. Number three. Number two. Number 13, so these are not in order. My OCD is kicking in. <laughs> 12. 11. Six. Five. Origin issue number four. Back to Conqueror Harrier Comics. I suppose, okay, so it's a U. So it's U.S., UK, Canada, and U.K. I wonder, I wonder if that's a U.K. comic originally. I'm not, I'm not familiar with Harrier. Eight, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, and Amazon number one signed by Bill Bill Williams from Lone Star Press, June '97. Nice. Alpha Flight Twenty Nine, one of my all-time favorite comic books, man. Never got enough love. I don't know why. I guess just because they were Canadian, but man, I I, I collected Alpha Flight for a long time. Number thirty-one. These do not have backs on them, but they're still in really great shape. The spine looks intact. Thirty-two. The new Vindicator. Oh, that's when uh, what's her name took over. Thirty-three. With X-Men. Right, the Eternals number one in the twelve issue. Oh yeah. Okay, let me see here. We got number one twice. Number three. Well done. Number two doesn't count if you don't have it. Four, five, six, seven, ten, eleven. So you're missing, so, oh, there's nine. There's eight. Is it number two right here? Yes. So it's got the entire run in here. Nice. The tw whole 12 issues of the Eternals Limited Series. That's excellent. Alpha Flight 33. 36. I remember that issue. Flight Annual, 1986. Giant size Annual number two. Alpha Flight 24. 49. Oh, it's killing me. These things aren't in order. I'm gonna, have to, uh, I'm gonna have to stop this and like rearrange everything. 51. 52. 53. Wolverine. Oh, he's actually got it. Number one. Yep, so it's the first issue. I wouldn't call it mint, but I'm not seeing any breaks in the spine. It's not backed, unfortunately. But that's awesome. Number two. Man, I remember these. Holy cow. This is taking me back. Six. 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, that's number 12. That's where, um, I believe that's the issue where Vindicator dies, isn't it? copies in that one bag. 34, 35, the Beyond the Secret Wars 2 crossover, 28, I believe this is the entire freaking run of Alpha Flight. That's crazy. Forty-seven, forty-eight, fifty. Double size issue with Loki. Two copies. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven and twenty-eight again. So some duplicate copies there. But wow, I believe that is the entire fifty-issue run of Alpha Flight. That's awesome. Stoked. Samurai number one from Air Cell. Reprint number two. Number two. Number three. Number four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, four. Really? 14, 15, 16, Samurai Penguin number one. <laughs> These must be Canadian. This looks Canadian. What's the name of that? I can't. Slave Labor Graphics Comics. Samurai Penguin number two. <laughs> oh, Lone Wolf and Cub number one from 1987. Holy moly. Oh, this is the, uh... oh yeah. This is, so this is the graphic novel. Or is this, I think that's how they actually printed them back then though, wasn't it? In 87? Like just that really thick spine, graphic novel kind of layout. There's number one, there's number two. That's insane. 
great condition too. I'd say near mint. Chuck Norris Karate Commandos number one. Jackpot. <laughs> Final issue of Power Man and Iron Fist, 125. Yeah, I told you it ended near 125. Wow. Conan number 94. Cadillacs and Dinosaurs number 3 from Topps Comics. Brave and the Bold number. I'm not sure what number that is. I'm not sure it has a number. It's 40 cents, so it's an older one for sure. So the Brave and the Bold Batman and Flash. Bonsai Girls number three from Arcana. Arcana. Bonsai Girls number one. Artesia Besieged number two. Alan Moore's Tomorrow Stories from America's Best. Splash Brannigan. Daredevil Save number 231. 225 Daredevil. Whew, got some nice ones in here. 224. 222, 277, 273, what a cover. <laughs> Is that JR Jr. drew that? No way. This is John Romita Jr. I guess that is him. Weird look for him. Yeah, that's definitely during his reign there over at Daredevil. 268. 261. Oh, I remember that one, 250. Wow. I was never I was never a big collector of Daredevil, but always loved like diving in and out of that series for some reason. It was always like really hit or really miss. So I was just never I was always a fan but never a collector really, a hard collector of Daredevil. 240, Silver Surfer 52 with Drax, Silver Surfer number 5, 3, The Shadow from August 87, number 1, nice, Route 666 from Cross Gen, 15, Mirror's Edge number four. Mirror's Edge number three. Okay. Mirror's Edge number two. So this is the game crossover. Number one, all from Wildstorm. So one through four of Mirror's Edge. That's cool. Call the Destroyer. Number 15. Holy cow, that's an old one. Iron Man 219, The Ghost in the Machine, Fantastic Four 196, Fantastic Four 186, Salem 7, wow, is that the first appearance of Salem 7? Wow. 
Dark Man number two from Marvel. Oh, that's awesome. If you never saw that movie, Dark Man, with um, Liam Neeson, actually, a very young Liam Neeson, directed by uh, Sam Raimi. Fun movie. Fun movie. Werewolf by Night number nine. Wow. That one's beat up pretty good. But that is an older book. Number four. Tarzan and the Warrior number two from Malibu. Tarzan and the Warrior number four. Sword of Sorcery from DC. Wow, that's an old book. Submariner 53. Wow. Number 46, Submariner. Stingray. Nice. Wow. So you got some older books in that one. That was nice. So I guess now we just we have one more box to check out. And um, But yeah, I'm pretty impressed with that one. That entire run of Alpha Flight. Daredevil's in here. Some older books, older, older standalone books. I wish those were complete runs, but I mean, you'd have, those were those were like from the early seventies or late sixties. So, one more book, and we'll check it out, and let's see what else we can find. Okay, third and final box. Here we go. Uh, it looks like, ooh, okay, this could be rough. So it looks like a lot of them are bagged and backed. Most of them are bagged and backed, but I got. Stack in here that's uh, not even bagged, so we're gonna start with them. See what's what. Yeah, these were uh, not man, not taken well care of, but we'll see what we can do with them. So yeah, these have uh, there's like uh, some kind of debris on the cover. Spine looks intact, looks clean, but. Looks like they were, and they were, they were packed kind of really tight together. But uh, you can see here, like on some of these, like you can see, like there's a build up in dirt, mud daubers or whatever got a hold of them, insects. So probably not in a whole lot of great shape, but it'd be fun to look through here and see what's in here. Shadow of the Bat, number 30. Nice in part nine. So this is. Detect Batman 677. So this is all Batman, it looks like. Dark Knight 63. Robin number nine. Ooh, Ninjak from Valiant number one. Prismatic cover. Really clean. I'm not seeing any damage to this thing at all. It's really clean. Nineteen ninety four. So it might be worth checking out. Ninety two Ninjak. Bloodshot number zero prismatic from Valiant. Again another really clean cover. I don't see any debris, no cracks, no bends. Okay, graphic okay, a couple graphic novels here. Batman Judge Dread, Ultimate Riddle, nice. Batman Grendel. Batman Grendel, Devil's Riddle. Grendel Batman, Devil's Mask. Batman Ghosts. Ah, oh, The Killing Joke. If you've never read it, you're missing out. It's a classic. Batman blue gray and the, the blue the gray and the bat so this is a paper cover graphic novel like a old uh, like it's a western so they did it like on that old typeset that heavy heavy gauge paper 
Nice. Detective Comics 665. Batman 499. Detective 666. Batman 509. So it looks like a bunch of these were the Knight's End crossovers. I think so. I think the entire run is in here. I'm pretty sure I saw several of them. So Shadow of the Bat 29. These are all really clean. Really, I know these weren't these weren't protected, but I think they were deep enough in that nothing got to them. And they they just really, they feel brand new. Look brand new. No breaks on the spines or anything. Knights in Part Three, Six Batman Detective Six Seventy Six. Batman Legends of the Dark Knight number 70, 62. How many Batman titles were there? Jeez. Robin, number 8. Catwoman, number 12. Batman, 510. Here's Nightfall, number 8. It's a Detective 662. Nightfall 496 Batman, Detective Batman 663. Oh, ho, 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 ho. nice. Batman 497. That's where uh, that's where he breaks his back. Oh, it's got the fold over on it. Yeah, that's where Batman gets trashed. Sorry, I kind of got hung up here, man. Holy cow, this is a epic issue. Beg for mercy, scream my name, <laughs> go back to hell, and I'm done. Wow. I am Bane and I could kill you, but death would only end your agony and silence your shame. Instead, I will simply break you. Wow. That's so cool. That's awesome. I'm going to have to get bags and bags for these things and take care of them because they're in good shape. Nightfall. So this is the story after. Detective 664. Two-Face. Batman 498. Batman 492. Oh, so is it, yeah, Nightfall 2, 3, okay. Batman 459, 493, and Detective 660. So all the Batman. Sheesh. Awesome. Oh, we're not done either. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nightfall number seven. Animal Mystic Water Wars. From Sirius number two, Elf Lord number three. Oh, these got stickers on them, man! Look at that. Dang it! Yeah. Back to the stickers. Uh, Spider-Man, Sandman, Spider-Man. No, it is Marvel team ups. One thirty-eight, one forty-six, one forty-seven. Oh, Secret Invasion. Nice. Oh, that's the saga. Okay. X-Files 19. Kabuki number 2 with a sticker on it. Tomb Raider Witchblade with a sticker. Ant with a sticker. Okay, there's a graphic novel there, I believe. Or just hardback. 
Shadowhawk Vampirella Creatures of the Night. Top Cow Secrets. Winter Lingerie Edition. Gasp. Spider Man Storm and Power Man. Battle Smokescreen. So that had to be one of those um, public service announcement comic books. Blair Witch Dark Testaments number one. Telos number eight. Telos number six. City of Tomorrow number two. Masked Man. One thirty-eight. Well, that's a duplicate. Still with a sticker. Animal Mystic number one. Wick the Dead number one. Adventures number three. Adventure. Oh, Adventurers number three. Adventurers number. Says I'm not sure if that's book two or book eleven. Regular number one. Silver Surfer number 11 with a sticker, with two stickers. Pretty beat up though. Hit the Beach 2003 and Adventurers again, number four. Uh, these are back, but because they were, they were put sideways in there, so there's a little bit of a bend in them. This is Prince from Piranha Music. Strike Force number four, sweet. Guess starting storm watch. Magnus Robot Fighter number eleven. Street Fighter number one from Ocean Comics. Never heard of that. Well, I mean I've heard of Street Fighter, but Star Wars number ninety. Myth Conceptions from Apple Comics number one. Myth Adventures from Warp Graphics number eight. Myth Adventures from Warp. So, oh, it's Apple and Warp. Warp number nine. Myth Adventures number 10. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, holy cow, that freaked me out. So this is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Authorized Martial Arts Training Manual number one. Still, that's from Solson, so that's a... Wow, I'll have to check into that one. Daredevil Chronicles. Fantico's Chronicles series. X-Men 129. Man of Steel number one. Six part limited miniseries by Vernon Giordano. Nice. Swamp Thing from Vertigo number 154. There's our armature again, number one. Conspiracy Comics number three. Dragon Ring, again, and you got a sticker on you. Also a sticker. The Honeymooners comic book, Triad, Raccoon of the Year, number four. Twisted Tales, number nine. Eclipse, Tales of Terror, number 12. Star Wars, oh, Dark Horse, Mary Jade, The Emperor's Hand, number five of six. Oh, if you had the entire run, dude. Well, okay, so that was number five. This is number three. Nope, number 65. The Panther. 
from Harris Comics, number one of two. And number two of two. Batman Year One Part One from Frank Miller, Batman 404, 405, 406, 407, nice, Superman 500. 1993. Pretty great condition. Batman Legend of the Dark Knight 21. Arion number two. Number 12. So it looks like, it looks like this is number, yeah, I can just barely see through it. If you can see that. So this is number 500, but it's uh, factory sealed. Well, I guess I could have just looked on the back. Superman collector set, 64 page, number 500. Exclusive eight story extra, one Skybox and Bloodlines trading card. Nice. Ultraverse Prime. Kind of bent. Twisted Tales, number 10. Panther number one from Harris Comics. You can see these are kind of bent. Just not stacked up tight. So, oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Hold on a second. Dude, are you kidding me? My brother. Not the brother who brought me these comic books, but my, but my younger brother, my, the brother that's in between us, is a massive, or was, a massive Gru fan. Just massive. So that's hilarious. So Gru number one from 1985, the original Sergio Aragonis from Marvel. Just hilarious. I love it. Number two. Number three. Dude, we used to sit down and just crack up over these comics. They were so hilarious. Okay, so that's number five. This is 33. Actually, I'm gonna go over here because I have. Looks like a strange. I'm not sure what's going on here, but this is. So I'm just gonna go right here because this is number six. Number seven. And look, this is why you put bags on it, man, because you never know what's gonna get in there. Yeah, put some kind of mud dauber, get in there. And get very deep because these are in plastic, so they're all protected. That's awesome. That's why you protect your books, man. Crew number eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve. This just makes me so happy. <laughs> Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, ah, 20, 
21, 22, again with 22, 23, 24, 26, Got a few skips in here. Oh, there's 25. Awesome. Okay. Black Flame Star Slayer from First Comics, number 23. Star Slayer 24. Also 24. 25. 26, 27, and 28. Got Gru number 33, 32, 31, oh, sorry, yeah, 31, 30. 29, 28, and 27. Wow, so that was like the full Gru run from 1 to 33 with the exception, I think, of uh, 18 and 19 missing. So, wow. More Star Slayer, number 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, so it looks like a, oh, 15, 16, 17, 18, oh, he meets Grimjack, Star Slayer had to meet Grimjack, 19, 20, 21, 22, says number four, five, six, seven, now monthly, starts with number eight. Number nine, number 10, number 11, 12, 13, 14. The original E-Man number one from First Comics. Number two, number three, Star Slayer, okay, Star Slayer number one, there you go, had to be in here, a Celtic Barbarian in the far-flung future, now you know what it is, origin issue, so number two, number three, oh, there you go. Peter Porker, the Spectacular Spider Ham, number one. That's hilarious. Hulk Bunny, Captain America, and Goose Rider. <laughs> the Avengers 236. Whoa. Oh, key, UFO in outer space, number 20. Number 
So I don't see a number on this one. But 22 is 40 cents and this one's 35 cents. So I'd have to say that it's earlier. But I don't see the number on it anywhere. Gold key, the twilight zone, number 30, I mean 30 cents. Twilight Zone. No, 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 no number on it. I guess I just didn't think to number them back then. Twilight Zone. X Men Annual. Number 13 from 1989. Atlantis Attacks. Not great condition. A little tear down here. Oh, come on. But... Wow. That's a... I don't know, man. I'm pretty impressed. These three boxes turned out to be really good. Some really crazy stuff in it. Entire runs of, of magazines and just... like and, and, then the, and then these old ones at the end. These old gold keys, man. Twilight Zone and UFO and... I'm just really impressed. That entire run of Groove just shocks me. I was not expecting to see that, but I guess I guess with some of the other sword and sorcery and fantasy stuff that we've seen, I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. But I love Groove, so that's awesome. Um, but the entire, but the Eternals and just all the Batman Nightfall series and just everything else in here, I'm just really impressed. So I'm happy with it. And we haven't even gotten to like the really good boxes yet. So we still have. 26 long boxes to go two short boxes. I think I'm gonna do the two short boxes next and Then dive into the long boxes and see what's up with those and uh, so this is still gonna take a while I don't know how many episodes this is gonna be maybe do two or three boxes at a time Until we knock it all out, but listen, I appreciate you guys stopping by and checking us out um, Come back. We'll do it again. Y'all be good. See you later. Love you